there's another shark's fin pop-up camera in town and today we're unboxing it. I'm still in Berlin for IFA but I'm taking a hot second to unbox this. This is the Oppo Reno 2. The Oppo Reno 2 is the follow-up to the Oppo Reno, also known as the Shark's Fin camera phone. Available in some parts of the world later on this month, I got a unit fresh from the announcement to unbox. We have the same holographic box. Well, semi-holographic. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I can't open it. I might use my earrings because I'm resourceful like that. My earrings, why not? What is in this phone? Because it seems like they released the Oppo Reno 2 way fast. Dun, 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 dun. I really, really, really love that writing. I am a holosexual. This looks like it's a black phone. 8 gig, 256 gig. Of course, this is just like a lot of papers that no one really ever reads. Oh, fancy. We'll deal with that later. Oh, this is a good looking case. Oh my gosh. Nice. The last Reno that I had, it had this thick black case and it wasn't the prettiest looking one but this one this one looks good feels nice it's not really leather but the texture is like leather I think it's plastic is it? I don't know that's nice Vogue charging power cord obviously USB-C yes the sim eject Dual. <laughs> earphones that oddly look a lot like Apple earbuds. Yep, there's an audio port. <laughs> now on to the actual Reno 2. 4 megapixel quad camera, 5 times hybrid zoom, ultra dark mode, ultra steady mode. Okay, this is something that I was praying for when we got the first Reno because I did vlog with it in Japan. 6.5 inch AMOLED screen, 4000 milliamp power book. There's a dual SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. Wow, that is one good looking phone. Wow. So this is supposed to be the black one, but look at that. Why is that so pretty? As with the old Oppo Reno, you see that the camera is flush on the back. One, two, three, four. So this flash used to be in the pop-up shark spin. This tiny dot is supposed to be um, the thing that keeps real life and the table away from your camera screen. So you never scratch them. So it is quite literally the only thing that protrudes on the back of this phone. Yes. Ooh. So fancy. Let's check out the cameras. There's a 1X, that's the main. There's a 2X, a 5X, and my personal favorite, the wide. You can zoom in as far as 20 times, but that's going to be a hybrid zoom, meaning quality is not the best. Now on to the selfies, which brings out that shark's fin pop-up camera. We still have the portrait mode, and of course my favorite, the AI beauty modes. Oh, so you can do wide angle on video, which is a great thing. Ooh, live focus. So live focus is happening on video too now. There's an ultra stabilizer mode on video now and the same sound effects. You can use the other lenses for video now. That's what I've been wanting. Also, there's a nest on the roof of that building. 
Now let's go to breakfast and actually take this thing out for a spin. Oh, that looks nice. Taking the Opal Reno 2 out for breakfast so I can try it on and get a few quick shots. Hi, Chai. Oh my gosh, there's AI beauty mode in video still. Thank you for not forgetting about my needs. And that was my unboxing and first look of the Oppo Reno 2. It's a solid looking and feeling phone, reminiscent of, of course, the first Reno. If it's gonna be anything like that phone too, the cameras are gonna be good. But what I'm excited about would be the new video features on this thing. That just means it's time for some real life testing. Stay tuned for my review of the Oppo Reno 2 coming up soon.